Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Um, today's video is filmed on my vlog camera because I literally brought my big camera with me. My beautiful baby that I film all my beauty videos on. This one right here, 90D. And I um, realized I forgot to freaking pack my battery charger and it's dead of course. Whoops, there goes my phone. So I'm filming today on my vlog camera, I hope it's okay. I know the quality is okay, it just might seem a little bit off or different and I'm obviously in a different house because today we are redoing my makeup collection at my beach house. It's a bit of a miserable day today. And Louis playing with his toy. You okay? You're gonna make lots of noise. Yes, basically, let's just get into it. This makeup here I've had since we moved into this house like three years ago. Um, and some of it's definitely expired, some of it's okay, but some of it needs to clear out, some of it needs to go, and I just wanted to refresh um, my collection so I bought a whole lot of stuff from home I might not use it all or like you know keep it all here but we're gonna repack this makeup collection there'll be some fast forwards there will be some cleaning because you can see this is a bit dirty there will be some unboxing because I've bought some like exo beauty lipsticks and stuff to keep out here because they're my favorites yeah that's basically the plan today I hope you guys enjoy watching this and my next video will be back at home yeah I'm just here and I wanted to film this for you guys because I thought it'd be hopefully entertaining. It's kind of like a reverse declutter <laughs> or like a declutter and then a reclutter. Love that. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm just going to show you what I've got in here already. So at the top here, we've got some makeup brushes. A lot of these are like Anastasia Beverly Hills, some XO Beauty ones, and you can see that I probably have never even washed these once, which is lovely. Um, we have some lipsticks here, lots of liquid lipsticks. Um, more brushes, it's a bit messy. We've got some Cabral back there. We've got some highlighter, all sorts of bits and pieces. Next drawer, oh, my rhinestones, love these. You guys know I'll be using them for New Year's. If you've seen my New Year's Eve tutorial slash by the time you watch this, it's the New Year, isn't it? So it's kind of irrelevant, but you get the gist. We have my huge browsings. We've got some perfume, more lipsticks, some Colourpop glitters, because I usually go to a lot of festivals while I'm up here, but not this year because COVID and I am pregnant, so don't feel like getting pushed around in the crowds. Lots and lots of stuff. We have some, what's this? Palettes, highlighter palettes. Some of this stuff's actually like all good, but yeah, we're just gonna like clear it all out and then repack, so I might put some of the stuff back in. We will see. We have more stuff. This stuff here is so expired. So the day before my wedding, I put this on and it gave me a rash on my eye, well, like, not on my eye eye, but like near my eye, on my upper cheek and underneath my eye. Um, so yeah, yay. That was really exciting to happen the day before my wedding. We've got a contour kit, throwback. Remember this? This is like an archive of makeup low-key. Like some of this stuff is ancient. Um, and then down here is like primers and found like, look at this. That doesn't look right. <laughs> um, my Tartlet Toaster Palette. I actually really like that. I might keep that one here. But lots of foundations and bits and pieces. Some of those are expired for sure. Um, and some stuff I just don't use, so. And yes, my fingers are so, so swollen. Thank you. I'm just pointing it out first because otherwise all my comments always, oh my god, you're very puffy. I'm like, yes, I am, thank you. <laughs> all right, so after all of that, I put up my big tripod and actually the small tripod that I'm using now is much better. And we will just film each drawer.
So cleaned those somewhat. You can actually get properly acrylic cleaner, but I don't have that, so I'm just using like spray and wipe. So I mean, it doesn't look as beautiful as it could, but hey. they definitely look better. Alright, time to start restacking. So I'm just gonna pull out each drawer and kind of talk about what's gonna go on each one-ish. And um yeah, we'll go from there. So in this first drawer I'm going to have primers, foundations and stuff like that because this is the deepest drawer. Um and do you guys remember how I had all my brushes in this top drawer? I'm actually thinking that I'm going to find a brush holder to put my brushes in because that's just kind of yuck. Like makeup gets all over the drawer and I feel like I could put makeup there and then have, you know, brush storage. So um, next time I go to town, I'm going to try and find some brush storage. And if I find some good ones, I will show you guys what I end up getting. But for now, let's start with this. Alright, so here is the start of my bases drawer and I've also got concealer, well that's part of my base, but you know, so let's just start over. We've got primers, I got this one here because it's got SPF 50 by Bobbi Brown. I've also got um, like a strobe cream and an Ola Henriksen little primer, they're like travel size which is good because obviously I'm not using this stuff every day, I just come up a few times a year, so it's good to have those travel size ones because then the less likely they kind of go off. I've also got these like tinted booster things from NARS and NARS foundation. This It Cosmetics foundation I've not tried yet but I'm excited to. I thought I'd try it over the summer um, and I've also got my favorite CC cream SPF 50. It's good for summer as well and also my SPF 35 MAC Lightful foundation. Um, we've got concealers. I have a body oil right here, a setting spray by Ofra. Um, yeah, concealers and powder. I might add more to this drawer soon, but that's where we're at. Next drawer, I think I will do some like bronzers, contours, blushes, highlighters. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty self-explanatory. These are blushes by Kylie. Um, some people hate these. The one I tried, I really liked. So, you know, if I try them and don't like them, I'll just take them out. But I've got three different colors here because one of them's more of a peach. This one is called We're Going Shopping. This one is called Betty on the Block. And this one is more of a really light, like fresh peach. It's like a lot lighter than that one. It probably doesn't seem it on camera. This one I think is more pinky. It's called Winter Kissed. It's a really soft pink. Then we have like our love cheek duo with a cream and a uh, like a blushy highlight color just for like a creamy blush. I've also got my Charlotte Tilbury Moon Beach which is like a peachy um, blush and then I also bought this Pony Effect in my everything which is like a really pretty pink. So just some really nice fresh colors. I have the Nymph like it's like a highlighter bronzer situation. Shade and contour, contour, glowish bronzer. My, uh, what brand's this again? Givenchy bronzer. This Benefit highlighter, which is so pretty. And there's only one highlighter here because I did bring some palettes. Next up, I might do some like eye bases, brows, eyeliners, mascaras, like all that kind of thing. looking at this and I do wonder if I should put it in this top 
drawer because it's so shallow. I'm just gonna like pop some stuff in and see if it like fits. Oh, some of it does and some of it doesn't. That's a little bit of a pain. So in here we have brows, we have some liquid liners, I've got black and brown roller liner, I've got a brown Urban Decay pencil liner, I've got my Stay In Place Stick by Tribu, which is more for your hair, but I've just put it in here with all this stuff. Black and clear glue, P. Louise Eye Base, my browsing's from home, that's super old, but it's still good. Um, just because it's a lot smaller and I don't really use it in my tutorials at home anymore since it is discontinued. Um, my Anastasia Beverly Hills like brow soapy stuff. I've got a nude eyeliner by Makeup by Mario. I've got a liquid brow detailing pen by Tarte. Gimme brow. Precisely my brow pencil which was a little travel size I got in my advent calendar this year. And then I've got three different brown um, like jumbo eye pencils just for quick makeup looks. I've got a matte one by Glossier. I have like a shimmery brown by Jouer and then I have this one by Laura Mercier which is like a more cool tone brown. And then a couple of mascaras. I was going to put my roller lash in here but this part doesn't fit into the drawer um i've also got like my tweezers extra beauty i've got my extra beauty hair clips um so yeah that's good for now that was on the top now what am i going to put in this one i guess we can do some lips So we have my NARS Air Matte Lip Colors. I did a TikTok swatch video on it, those if you guys want to see it. Um, I have my Exo Beauty Lipstick, like Bullet Lipsticks, Exo Beauty Pencil Sharpener, a whole lot of different lip pencils, my Lip Veils by Exo Beauty, Exo Beauty Matte Liquid Lipsticks, and Exo Beauty Liquid Lipsticks, which have more of like a... I don't know, painty kind of texture. And then a couple of these Morphe Make It Big lip glosses. I haven't tried those yet. Oh, and my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. I just get three because they're kind of old, so I'm not sure if they're still good or not. I'll have to try them on. Yeah, that fits so pretty. Now I've got two more trays this size. Um, I guess I just pop in some eyeshadow palettes and things. I also have sponges and stuff, but I think I will put the sponges, you know, with my brushes, however I organize them. I have a couple of boxes of my Exo Beauty Ultra Soft Sponges, my favorite sponges in the entire world. They are bomb. Like this one's a bit dirty. Um, it's an older one that I've used, but even when it's dry, look how squishy it is. And then it like doubles in size and it's like even softer when it's wet. So I have both of my Diamond Baby Highlight Palettes by Exo Beauty right there. I've got my Heaps of Sweets Palette, which looks like this on the inside. So some neutrals and purples and like warm tones. And then I have my Native Palette right there underneath, which has 
uh, some neutrals and some greeny tones, silvery tones. So some palettes there for some color if I do feel like wearing a bit of color, but most of the time I do wear just neutral when I'm away on holiday. I've also got the Tartlet Toaster Palette, which I actually love by Tarte. A couple of my Jart Diamond Powders in Oh My Gold and Dreamer. These are really pretty on the inner corner or all over the lid if I want something super blingy. Um, and then I've just put a couple of lip balms here because they fit well. And then in this drawer, sorry, the lighting's going a bit crazy. With my one and only eyeshadow palette bag, so beauty. It's a bit funny because this is like one of the first ever samples, so it's got a bit of fading on it. But the eyeshadows are all good still. Um, so that's just a whole lot of neutrals that I love. And then we've got my Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit, which throwback, but still so good. And then my Sunset Palette by Natasha Denona. And then I just kept three of these glitters just just because, just in case, <laughs> in case I do go anywhere that calls for glitter. Um, and then I've just put a couple of perfumes in there as well. And then back in this bottom drawer, I'm going to pop in this It Cosmetics CC Cream. Sorry, you can't really see. This is the illumination version. I definitely prefer just the regular one, this one right here. This one's in fair, this one's in light. Light's actually like my tan shade and then fair is like my normal shade. I feel like they run quite dark. So a couple of different colors there. Even though this is like a formula I don't love as much, like I still like it. I just prefer the original and I do want to like continue to use that one up. So I also do have a facial sunscreen, which I might just pop in here. And I feel like that's pretty much it. Oh wait, I've actually got one more thing that I want to put in here. My Clear Kill Cover. I have a newer version at home now that I will keep for videos and things. I have a refill. This is pretty much empty. So this is how the refill comes. So it pops out like this. This is the old one. Um, and it's the same shade. So that's good. Just pop it right back in place. The color pops through at the bottom. And then it's got the little seal on it, which I won't remove it just yet. I'll wait till I use it, but yay. So brand new, basically. And this is great too, because it's nice and quick, lightweight good for summer and it has SPF in it. And for my powders, I packed NC30 and NC20. If I'm paler than that, I just skip powder a lot of the time. So that is all good. That's all done. I'll tidy up my mess and then I'll show you how it's all looking. Then I just have to do my brush storage. Oh, and there's one more thing that you guys may be wondering, wondering I can't talk about, that's lashes. My lashes just kind of get chucked in the drawer because, yeah, there's no room in this thing. All right, so here is what's on TV. Bottom drawer. I've kind of already gone over it, but we'll just do a quick overview again. I've got primer, sunscreen, compact foundation, illuminating kind of tinted products, body oil, setting spray, a primer, concealer, powder, blah, blah, blah. And then the next one above that, we have blush, bronzer, some liquids some creams um we've got contour shade and light palette all of that stuff there some highlighters and then in the straw is lip products we've got glosses mattes creams like liquid matty types lip pencils pencil sharpener that draw is probably my favorite i love lip products and then above that we have highlighter palettes eyeshadow palettes some pigments, some more lip balms that didn't fit below. Then we have eyeshadow palettes, more highlights. Um, we've got some glitters and some perfume. And then in the very top is just all of our brows and eyes. So eyeliners, eyeshadow pencils, hair clips, face shavers, brows, um, accessories for lashes and all that, eyeliners, glues, eye primer, just all of that good stuff. Hopefully I've not forgotten anything. I don't think I have, but that's the new makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, you know, video declutter, reclutter situation. Um, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Got heaps more declutters coming at my, you know, normal beauty room soon. So keep an eye out for those in the new year. Um, and I will insert my brush thing if I get to do that now. All right, guys. So I found these at Kmart. They were $2.50 each, I think. 
just little pink plastic ones. I thought they'd be nice and easy to like keep clean. They also have fabric ones, but I figure makeup might get on them. And I just got four of them. They're not huge, but I think they'll do the job perfectly. And they can just sit in that cupboard. I keep all my makeup in this cupboard that's off to the side just here. Um, so Hamish wants me to have this here. I was going to take it home. It's our Lux nude brush set. So you open it up. And here's the brushes. They are stunning. Incredible quality. Brushed barrels. Nude. Just so cute. Oh my god, they look so cute in there too. So, I think I'm just going to do like face brushes in two and then eye brushes in the rest. So, um, I'll just fast forward this for you as well. So I probably could have fit them in three and I know this seems excessive for a lot of people but like you know I've got my own makeup brush brand so <laughs> there's a lot and there's also like my Anastasia Beverly Hills ones, a couple of Huda Beauty ones, a couple of what was it Dior I think um, and some of these need a wash so I do have my brush soap so I need to do that at some stage in the next few days probably but those look cute hey nice cheap easy functional they'll do the job absolutely perfectly so that sums up this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it i hope you enjoyed the fast forwards um so yeah i'm really excited to do my makeup now and play with some new stuff and i don't know i just love when i've just organized it's so much more fun doing my makeup because i feel like i just know like everything i have and i know where everything is and it's really nice so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye <laughs>